So in problem number 16 of uh, section 3.8, we're given a rectangle and we're asked to find a few things about it. We're uh, asked to find its mass, uh, the x and y components of um, the moment, and also the x and y coordinates of the center of mass. And of course, to do this, we're going to have to know something about the density of, uh, of this rectangle. We're given that the density of each x cross-section, so each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis, is given by uh, e to the x. So the formula for, let's start out with mass, is the integral from 1 to 6, so our x values, of the density function, and multiplied by the difference in function height. So really we're finding the, uh, the rectangle can be described as the region between the lines x equals 1 and x equals 6, and between the graph of y equals 5 and y equals 1. So we want to find the difference um, in the functions, which is just 5 minus 1, so that's 4. And uh, that's at every x point since the function is a constant, so uh, functions have a constant difference, and we can just factor that out, um, dx. This is equal to 4 times uh, e to the x evaluated from 1 to 6. That's equal to 4 times e to the 6th minus e, which is 1,602.84. So let's keep track of this over here. So that's part A. So mass is equal to 1,602.84. Let's just give these standard metric units, so say kilograms. Now to find the x component at the moment, we're going to have to do a little bit more work. The just ends up with the integral is a little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. The integral is uh, from 1 to 6, again, of uh, this time we have x times um, the density function times the difference um, in the function, so 5 minus 1, and we can factor that out, that's 4, um, dx. So using integration by parts, we get u equal, letting u equal x, du equal dx. Um, we let dv equal e to the x dx, and v is just e to the x. This is 4 times, um, let's see, 4 times uv, so x e to the x evaluated from 1 to 6 minus uh, the integral of v du from 1 to 6. So e to the x and du is just dx. All right, this is equal to 4 times uh, 6 e to the 6th minus uh, e minus, uh, let's see, e to the 6th minus e to the first, and this is 4 times, let's see, 5 e to the 6th, and we have minus e plus e, so that goes to 0, and we're left with 20 e to the 6th, which, work that out, is 8,068.58. Uh, And the units will be, I mean, if you remember uh, the moment, if you have just a finite number of point masses is um, the position times uh, the ma or times mass. So units will be meters times kilograms.
Uh, the formula for the y component of the moment is a little bit different. It's the integral from 1 to 6. Now, I want to take, if we think of uh, the top function being f of x, so f of x equals 5, and the lower edge of the rectangle being described by g of x equals 1, then the y function is described by f squared of x minus g squared of x over 2 times uh, the density function, and we're integrating with respect to x. This is equal to, if we just pull this constant out, since both f and g are constants, then um, let's see, we get 25 minus 1 over 2 times the integral from 1 to 6 of e to the x dx. And that's 24 over 2, so 12, uh, times the integral from 1 to 6, e to the x, dx. So 12 times e to the 6th minus e, and just work out, is 4,808.53. And again, the units will be meters, kilograms. All right, so we got the hard part of the problem over. Uh, all the integration is out of the way. And center of mass, or the x-coordinate of the center of mass is just the x-component of the moment divided by the mass. So we know the component of the moment is 8,068.58 meters kilograms over the mass which is 1,602.84 kilograms. So as far as um, units go, kilograms cancel out, and we're left with uh, 5.03 meters. So it's good to know that our, um, uh, or the reason I canceled out kilograms here is just to make sure that our units make sense. We're looking for uh, x coordinate, so should be getting a unit of uh, distance, which of course meters is. Right, and similarly for the x component of the center, of, or the y component of the center of mass, you just divide the y component of uh, the moment divided by the, by the mass. That's 4,808.53 meters kilograms over 1,602.84 kilograms. Kilograms cancel, and we're left with uh, approximately three meters. So the center of mass is um, so x bar, y bar, is just 5.033.